Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino, back on this lovely Saturday uh, to take a look at these markets and what we can expect next week. Now let's just recap a little bit if this is new to you. Uh, so every Saturday now for the past month I have done one of these markets look ahead uh, video segments and I'm, pr I'm proud to say that for the first three weeks of this I was 100 percent correct last Saturday I was kind of half wrong or half right depending on how you want to look at this uh, the broader markets did put on a slight gain um, the Nasdaq finished in the negative I have a bunch of stuff I want to talk about with this particular video segment and you and I as always are going to do this together so what I'm going to need you to do, if you're not on my website right now, there is a link in the description of this video, which will take you to my website, TradersChoice.net. I'd like you to watch this video right on my website, and we're going to go over a bunch of charts together. And we're going to put together a bunch of things. So go over there, and if you are there, well, let's get started. All right. Let's look right below this video you're gonna see my swing trading chart this I already have set up for you with ticker SPY this is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 now what can we see right off the bat here going back to May to where we are now screaming uptrend I mean of course there's that random walk with the upward drift you got that all right what I want you to do now is look underneath this chart to that nice gauge I have for you. Let's see what that says. This thing has been pretty much spot on. Understand, this gauge you're looking at here is not a day trading gauge. This, if you notice, it says below current technical position of the S&P 500 weak. You got it? Still says this is a strong buy. All right. Let's let's try to put a few things together here so what do we know is going on here that 10 year yield you know how important this is if you follow my work is getting darn close to three percent now there's a compensatory mechanism along with the 10 year yield which is kind of offset by what the dollar is doing very important to keep that in mind the weaker the dollar becomes, the further out uh, a danger zone with regard to what the 10-year yield is doing will become. However, with that in mind, I believe they are going to make every attempt to keep that 10-year yield lower than 3%. Now. What I want you to do, again, look straight down at that chart there of uh, SPY. Um, I want you to change that ticker. Just click to the right side of where it says SPY, hit backspace, and put in IWM. Click enter. All right. This is the Russell 2000 index that you're looking at, basically the small cap stocks. Small cap stocks here, you know, look what's happening here. We're kind of rounding out. This here says something to me, and it should say something to you as well. When you're looking at the small cap index, it's basically pointing to what's happening here locally, our local economy here. Now, if small stock, small cap stocks sell off, which they did on Friday in a big way, um, that's not a good sign for uh, for what's going on here in uh, our local economy here in the United States, despite what's coming out of the mouths uh, of President Trump or any of our politicians who are fist feeding you. Um, look how the market reacted to this GDP number yesterday. Not very good. Not very good at all. Um, markets finished, started higher, and then sold off despite the fact that they were propping up that bond market. I mean, go look at that bond market chart. It's unbelievable. Look at those green candlesticks. That's how hard they were trying to prop up that bond market yesterday. It's epic. Absolutely epic. Look underneath the bond market chart. You'll see the dollar. The dollar got stronger, then it kind of leveled off. 
Remember, we need to watch these things. It's super important. Um, we're going to do another thing here. Go to the chart, my day trading chart over here. All right, now I want you to put in SPY again. All right, if it's not there for you. Now, again, keep this in mind. If you are a day trader, uh, you already know what you're looking at here. If you're not a day trader, this to me looks like we could see a bounce with regard to the broader market into next week. But there's a potential for it to bounce and then sell off again based on this swing trading chart. Put SPY back in there, SPY. All right. We might be topping out here. Here's my stance now. Um, if I had to pick where I stand with this coming week, I am neutral to bearish. Neutral to bearish. Let's see how that plays out here. But remember what we need to do. We need to keep our eye on that, the bond market chart. See if they're trying to prop this up. That 10 year yield is epic. We, they get, again, the danger zone is 3%-ish, maybe a little above that. So they're going to make every effort to make sure it doesn't go above that. If we do go above that, if, if Monday, Tuesday or so, the 10-year yield starts to go over 3%, my stance will change to bearish uh, at that point, right? That's why I'm kind of neutral bearish right now on this market. So... We just have to keep our eye again on the, the bond market, of course, the dollar. Let's see what earnings bring here. Again, earnings to me now in this environment are meaningless. Uh, and I think the illusion that everything is just grand uh, is kind of losing its luster a little bit, especially with President Trump coming out and saying, hey, you know what? I want the Federal Reserve to keep, you know, keep the easy money going, to keep pumping this market here with, with more and more debt, which will inflate a stock market bubble on the back of the debt bubble. He should have kept his mouth shut there. I think the Fed, even though it's not real, was playing the game correctly. By the Fed coming out here and saying, hey, you know what? We're going to raise rates. We're going to be somewhat aggressive. The market, even though it knows it's not true, there was maybe the slightest bit of, of glee in the market saying, hey, you know what? Maybe we really are in an economic recovery. You got it? It's not true. You know that it's not true. Uh, so, so anyway, with that said, we're going to watch all of this. Now, again, I want to apologize for getting this video out a little bit late. I was working all day yesterday and this morning on a new publication. Look in the upper left-hand corner of this page. You're going to see what I published this morning here. Get paid up front to trade stocks. This is not some kind of a game or some kind of a scam. This is real. Um, and it's kind of a <laughs> not so well known by a lot of traders. Um, go click on that and read about it. And again, uh, the profits to anything, any of these publications that I sell are donated to animal charities. So if you do go ahead and buy any of these things, know you're supporting a good cause here. And as always, I have a publication that's for you that's 100% free. At least download that. Uh, so anyway, with that said, let's see how this plays out come Monday. I'm excited and a little bit kind of maybe nervous uh, going into next week. But we're going to talk all about it on Monday. And it's going to be all kinds of lovely and all kinds of fun. See ya.